Hey everybody, Radamon here. Thanks for tuning in to the Origins of Magic. A quick recap of the rules and goals. They're pretty straightforward. The dark arts are forbidden, and we kill people that practice them. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Doesn't get much more straightforward than that. Alright, so, uh, LBM is already trying to buy Toxic Fallout. Uh, the bot's currently deactivated so I could fill you in what has changed since last episode because you know my series do evolve over time so LBM who is trying to buy the toxic fallout actually made the military aid work so uh, if you are of the if you're of the opinion that the constant me getting onslaughted by enemies is um, makes my progress as a builder or whatever slow uh, military aid is a valid working function now. Uh, it doesn't send a whole lot of aid, but it sends aid. Uh, some other changes. Um, fire elementals, fire giants, and will-o'-the-wisps are fully fireproof. They can't be caught fire. That doesn't really make sense that they weren't fireproof to begin with. And their fire armor is ridiculously strong. With that said, fire spells are magic, not fire. So the after effects um, of them producing fire is what fire damage is, but the spell itself is still magic damage. Um, that's maybe about it, I think. Uh, a few other little tweaks here or there, but those are the big ones. All right, so we're picking up where we left off. Uh, looks like the bot actually just reconnected automatically, so that's cool. Uh, let's, okay, we don't need to clean up dead ponds with the runtime GC. And fingers crossed, nothing explodes, because, you know, you know how my streams sometimes go. Uh, will Scathy's snowballs work better? Probably not, to be honest. Um, no, I wouldn't have a lot of hope that uh, the snowball's any better. Although there's a ton of snow out here. It's uh, it's actually 37 degrees, so you know a lot of these um, some of the snow is not melting all that quickly. All right, so what I need to do is order allow all and. Is there anything needed ASAP? Yes, but not being sent. What is really needed ASAP is for me to get the hell out of the overhead mountain tiles because the infestations have been vicious and terrible and I've been getting my butt kicked uh, pretty thoroughly and severely from them. So that's like priority number one, I suppose. Okay, so I think the bot has fully connected because now I'm not chunk chunk chunking. Uh, looks like Earth Sprites are still working, which is cool. Uh, we've got a lot of these glow pods. Now, uh, one question that people had for me was about this overhead mountain tile. What I will do is shrink this down considerably, um, so that it does not pose a threat. Um, if you don't have a lot of, um, if you don't have a lot of overhead mountain tiles, like you limit the exposure or whatever, um, you just aren't, you, you won't run the risk of actually um, getting a infestation. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Is sort of fill it in. Uh, so uranium, shield, drop in a whole bunch of uranium. Actually, shield, yes, that is actually something we do need. So um, uranium, I think, is probably the only thing I probably do, I, I, I have a lack of. Um, and I say that because uh, things like the forges and the teleporters and all that jazz kind of requires a lot of uranium, or at least some. Now, some of that is just like, I need to get off my lazy butt and do some trading with my neighbors. What I was really hoping to do is to... Does it... Something... This looks... Mm, it looks funny. I'm going to dig that. Uh, get off my lazy butt and trade with the traders. But, uh... Oh, other things have changed. Um, I'll be on made it so that the... Lightning storms, because I'm listening to the one right now, uh, will not blow out your eardrums. Oh, they all are revenging. Well, here, proof of the lightning storm change. Uh, let me put it even closer. Come on. There we go. And a little, maybe an eye of the storm. And you guys back up. See, it's it's loud, but it's... Oh, I hit a skin spider, too. 
Well, screw this good spiders. Ouch, Nerlin just got hit, accidentally. Little friendly fire. These things happen. I think he's already healed up. I don't know how that works. Okay, so more skin spiders are wanting to eat me. That's cool. What a start. I was just demonstrating the uh, storm. And, oh, well, cheese got that one. Alright, don't touch cheese. Okay, so we don't have a lack of meat. I think I accidentally killed some rats in that storm as well. Uh, shield wants his weapon powerful. Yeah, I do too. So, I'm right there with you. Alright, what has all been sent? Uh, Squidly sending me some tea. A meteorite of limestone from the moderator Klein. Grow trees so you're low, I'm low on wood. Uh, yeah, I am low on wood. I'm ridiculously low on wood. So, one of the things about the wood is I didn't want to make it too obvious role-playing here. I, I need, like, uh, like hashtags for when I'm role-playing. I didn't want to make it too obvious to um, enemy factions that I live here, which means having a giant farm of cactus cacti are kind of obvious. Uh, visitor from Sears is leaving. Bye, visitor. Crimson Rust, happy that he's alive and kicking. Dropping bits on me. Well, thank you. Um, well, I really hope that, uh, Droid in here gets a little bit of an inspiration and cranks out some really good, um, weapons or armor. Both. Either. The stream started a little late because, uh, copy. Oh, this is, uh, Accidental Aggro's mug. Here, let me show you. For some of the sort of high-rolling patrons, um... I made uh, coffee mugs for them, for their support in 2019, and uh, that one was accidental aggros. I, I got some, um, I got some extras, because uh, I basically wanted to order them to make sure they didn't suck first, so I didn't send sucky stuff to uh, my high rolling patrons, and yeah. So every now and then I, I use the spare ones. All right, more uranium from Can and uh, beer from Squidly. This is very, like, uh, triumphant music. Oh, Crimson Rust uses his mug all the time. I'll have to send him another. I don't know if I have a duplicate Crimson Rust mug, though. But that's good. I'm glad that they get used. A token of my appreciation. So, things I want to do this episode. I definitely want to move out from the overhead mountains. Uh, because it's scary. I think what's going on right now is... Let me see resources items magic items yes so the magic items weren't allowed down here i've now allowed allowed them all which means the rest of this stuff will move um and then what i'm going to do is slowly break this stuff down and move it all oh speaking of wood laden drunk fish and MRGK sent me a whole lot of wood that I don't deserve. Just wall it off for bug bait? I could do that. Now, the only issue with walling it off for bug bait is I have so many potential danger points. Um, so it would be... It's not that the... Yeah, I think I, what I could do is design my defenses to be um, particularly powerful against spiders. Um, but I do wanna, I do wanna, oh, what? Uh, was he the dude? I love how his name is Yeti. So it's funny, like Pete completes uh, Cambiar shows up in one series and now Yeti shows up in another. Um, this guy was gonna be the, uh, the gladiator. Yeah, sweet. Uh, so at 1.30, or rather half an hour past the hour, because I know, time zones, uh, we'll assign Yeti. Right now I'm going to throw him to the back and bottom. Uh, let's do some assignments, because Yeti, you are a mite. Quality meals. You're a teetotaler. Boo! Would it just be easier to meteor the areas? Probably. 
the the trouble is, I think Meteor requires a uh, a line of sight to the sky. Um, so let me try that right now. But like, I don't know. Oh, maybe maybe I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong, cause God, that would be easy. Just to be like calling it down. Apparently, the spell does not care if you. Oh, no, that didn't really work. Okay, we're filling it in. Yeah, <clears throat> that was um, that was what we call a rolling a zero. <laughs> I cast a big old meteor and it's just like plop. <laughs> the roof collapsed. Well, uh, it's good to know, right? I had no idea that that was the case. So I think the rest of these prisoners are supposed to be reduced to zero and release. They are, of course, in a bug zone, as evidenced by the crazy amount of insect jelly. The thing is, I don't really want them eating insect jelly. Uh, I think these prisoners are required not to. Uh, because, yeah, they're on prison food. I like how their market values are like one cent. So, Yeti needs names. Yeah, 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 whatever. So, we are just going to fill this in the old-fashioned way, because we have a lot of slate. Might as well. It's not sexy, but, uh, yeah, we'll just, it's the way, it, it's the way it will be. Alright, so let's remove the roof over what we can. Um, let's make sure not just, uh, like yesterday, we don't have a, uh, mountain collapsing on our heads. Is that... That low-key sucked. Adjutant Stormy, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the resub. So you all know the rules. Um, in one minute, the timer will start for the 15-minute countdown for Yeti. Yeti the uh, Gladiator. Arcane. Bulk goods coming in. They sometimes have uranium. I would be very excited if they do. What is Nerlin? Okay, everybody is hauling stuff in. So that's... I didn't have a valid stockpile. Oh, that's scary. That's terrifying. I didn't have a valid stockpile for all these gems. So now that I do, we will start filling this up. This is quite the stockpile. Uh, and then this is going to become a farm of some sort. I've not yet decided what kind, but... Um, that's all good. Major Brick Risk for Yeti. Come on, you have Soothing Breeze... Oh, you did have to watch, like, all of your friends die. But, you know, your friends were jerks. So, they deserved it. I'm not very sympathetic to the dude, am I? I should be. Alright, checking on everybody else. I see that I have a lot of level ups. Shield is level 150. 43 points past his maximum able to even use points. Um, it's too bad I can't just, like, share it. Scathy is back to spirit only, as is Rust. Aiden. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna start... I'm just gonna keep going expanded mind so that you are, like, a giant mana pool. Most of these guys are sort of, um, functionally max level. Raven isn't. Mando certainly isn't. He fell behind a little bit, but he was one of the new recruits. Uh, Droiden's working on some defensive spells. Cheese has a big old mana pool. I love it. And then we have Vendi and Chump. Oops, I should have done teleporter power. Oh well. Psychati from Penguin Addy, or from Addy I should call you, because that's who and what you are. Here is Addy. So I would say, personally... We'll, we'll probably have an episode goal for all y'all to uh, vote on. But personally, I would say the things I would want to do this episode is to try to work on everybody's gear. So that um, I'm not so vulnerable. Turtle Sandwich is putting a party together. With all the uh, G-Gamer and uh, Addy's beer. Sweet. Well, thank you. I like that. So we have two Arcanists that are pretty high level. Um, Addy, I think, is the traitor. I do have to keep, like, three... Con oh, no. Denishi, I think, maybe has a... Um... No. Denishi, you're the traitor. Alright. So, let's see. They've got 
a ton of silver, so I'm going to sell my insect jelly, because why not? Um, they don't have uranium to buy, which is a bummer. They do have an arcane tome of... Na I already have one of those. Um, I need to learn dry ground. They don't even have magicite to buy... What? You guys are losers. What? Why do you even show up here if you don't have good stuff? Boo. Pox on you. All right. Pilsner, sending me some Pilsners. Well, that's a lot more silver. Oh, did they have Mana Weave and I just didn't see it? Or didn't pay attention? Mana Weave would be really good. It's not very tough. Uh, so you do become a bit of a... Um... Oh, yeah, they have some Mana Weave. You do become a bit of a... a... Glass Cannon, but that's okay. Uh, MRE, 911, send me some more Uranium. So I, I definitely have to put these Uranium to something useful. Uh, other fill-ins I need to do. Is... I'll do it like this. So that's like, this right here is like kind of the minimum run of space. Uh, and this should prohibit, uh, I don't really see insects being able to get in here. But I should have, uh, built it up in layers. Alright. So, we're starting to fill in the gaps. Uh, let's start back here as well. And then, <clears throat> surprisingly, a lot of this space is okay. Uh, but I don't really know how I'm going to use it. Oh, we have an infestation. <sighs> well, um... My prisoners are dead. Yep. Alright, I'm sending the mite people in ASAP. We'll try to keep them alive, but you know. Alright, Raven is short behind. Nerlin, here. Keep these doors open. Nerlin, stand there. Um, who else do we want? So the problem is... Maybe Droiden. The, pro the problem is uh, a lot of our spells are going to absolutely decimate friendlies. So I got to be very careful about how I spell cast. So I'm gonna I'm gonna want uh, Addy over here because I could drop a uh, healing stuff. Oh, I don't even know where it's safe to stand. All right. Hopefully everybody's far enough away that I can blade spin. Yep. That's the real issue. Is a lot of the uh, a lot of the spells I have. Um, are sort of AOE. Luckily, they're not setting me on fire. So, cheese. Danishi, you want to join us? Where is Addy? Addy, where are you? Alright, uh, T saying heal yourself. And we have a raid of Confederacy of Lords coming in from these. Okay, well, uh, if that's the case, let me send my. Rust, come up here. Let me send uh, Den, Cheese, and Scathy to deal with the uh, the Lords. I really need to get the hell out of the mountain. You are, what, heavy blowing? Yes, you've got heavy blow going. And Mando, you have thick skin on. No, you don't have thick skin. Let's put that on. Alright. So Kakata's down. One of one of my prisoners was just like unconscious already. So they're being kind of left alone. Oh, we also have some ice giants coming in. Yay! Yay! Alright, so let's get uh healing circle. And the ice giants are gonna Ooh! They're right next to the lords, so haha, -ha, I don't have to fight both. Um, Overwhelm maybe would be good here. 
All right, so here's the healing circle. Addy, drop a bestow might on shield. Shield looks like he's been chopped up a lot. Let's drop a regen on him. All right, so that helps. All three of you go down there. Uh, someone's visiting? Don't go north. Don't go north. North is not good. Don't go north. There's a lot of unfriendlies north. All right, Manda's fully healed. Uh, Shield, you have seen better days. Let me just teleport over to friendlier areas. What? Oh, there was an unconscious spellopede that was, like, upset that I hurt him. Don't be a baby. All right, Shield, how are you doing? You've got the regen. Uh, you're missing a toe. But in the big scheme of things, you're okay. And more beast attacks from Flying Nostril and Lou. All right, so the other ones are Fire Giants. So we got the big ones coming in. Uh, let me make sure... Uh, well, my visitors are dead. Let me make sure the Fire Giants are... Yeah, so their heat is... 200% and I don't believe that they're flammable we'll see all right so was that the yep that was the advanced heal good don't break my billiards table and friendly's coming in does this work now yes it does so we've got some uh, Avanako tribe Coming in right at the Lords, and then another group to the north. Now, the only problem is, I can't really nuke this crowd if the Avanakas are standing right there, because they will catch um, friendly fire damage, and I'll be blamed. So far, none of my prisoners are dead. Kakata's not doing well. I'll drop a heal on him. He's not dead. Um. Boo! It's not my fault! Don't blame me! Don't blame me! You came in at bad times. Don't visit me. Alright, uh, let's drop a regen on maybe Lopez. Uh, most of these bugs are dead. Alright, I don't see any bugs that are up, so I'm going to unconscript everybody. Uh, shield needs a new toe. If I go to wild? No. If I go to... I'll just do it like this. Hunt them. I need to find living spellopedes. Maybe I killed all the spellopedes. No, nope, here's a living one. Hunt you. Alright. Uh, so... The issue here is, how do I hurt these guys without hurting my friendlies? I'll try to cast a lightning storm, like, here. And a blizzard. And a firestorm. Let's just do it all. Alright, walking away. Cool. Oh, no, don't do this! No! <laughs> uh, allies. Alright, Scathy, go rescue. Shut up, Evanakos. You asked for this. Uh, actually, don't leave yet. Let's blow up the hives. Ooh. Llama Man, thanks for the sub. Sorry, not been paying attention to the chat. You guys like when I'm fully occupied, apparently. No, I don't want the... Give me a little... I don't see any little Mega Scarabs that aren't dead. 
Alright, what's everyone working on? Uh, our mages are going to hang around because I'd like... Oh, Kaya Black already got up on her feet. Or his feet? His feet. So I'm um, pseudo obligated, and I say it like that because it's not a true obligation to uh, rescue whom I can. But I think it's pretty easy to say that if there are um, if there are fire mage or fire elementals sitting on top of your face, the chance of you being rescuable is pretty low. So I'm just going to deal with those later. Uh, Herbal meds coming in from Squall, chocolate from Dub, friendlies. From Klein. Billiards need space. Really? That's that's your concern right now? Wood coming down from Dryzard. Uh, Alright, Raven's still smash, smash, smashing. Oops, someone casted. Uh, that'll be nice. So how are these guys doing? You are... Fine. Yeah. They actually fared better than even my own people. Ambrosia for the moods. Oh, okay, so, uh, yes, we need to deal with the fire elementals. Uh, Addy, you want to join us? Come on. Oh, there we go. These things are tough, if you haven't already been able to tell. Uh, Nerlin, you'd be particularly good at killing fire elementals. Because they don't feel pain at all, and they have really, really, really good armor. As you can tell, the full- if they can survive a full volley, they're ridiculously strong. Cheese, you want to be out of here too? Oh, sweet, I could just blink right there. Um, yep, Plore, I don't know what you're doing, but it looks dumb. Another beast attack, Ice Fiends from Flying Nostril. Okay, so I have people over here that I'm going to try to rescue if possible. I can't say it's necessarily guaranteed to be possible. T-Sing just got an inspired trade. I guess murdering all the um, fire giants inspired him. Why won't you die? I feel like Agent Smith. <laughs> Slow mo's just like yoink. <laughs> oh, that made me funny. That made me laugh. Why don't the fire giants bleed fire? Uh, well, they're bleeding stuff. It's not exactly fire. Their blood certainly is not red. Oh, okay, yeah, no, this is good. I was trying to figure out what was bashing up there. And uh, remember to whisper the rad Twitch bot. Um, not just cast your vote in the channel, because that's not how any of this works. Shield, you have a mangled eye. Oh, actually, that's fine. Addy, let's just purify his eye right now. And Nerlin Hunt. Okay, his eye's fine. He just needs a toe. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to hunt fire giant. Uh, rust. Stroppy regrowth. And haul it. Alright, I'm not home. We're not here. Go away. Oh, you left the door open. Lovely. Well, shield. I know. A man that never can rest. Uh, let's get... Raven's still busy, so let's get... Uh, T-Sing. And... Have you blink? There we are. And Mando. Who looks bloody, but is lying. He isn't. Silly ice fiends. Uh, cheese is like, hello...
What is the dragon strike? Yeah. There we are. Rust is like, this is fine. Medical emergency Kokata. Uh, yes. He does not look so good. Uh, so you guys dropped... Funny Man drops uh, T saying a little bit of inspiration. Also, Funny Man, thanks for gifting out some subs before this, even before the stream started. Uh, Den, inspiration for Shoot Frenzy from Dub. Mana Surge from Blue Wind. And, oh god, a whole lot of meteors. Um, I don't even know who sent this, but cool. Oh, no, that was the vote, right? Uh, Mana Pots from Flying Nostril. And Ambrosia from Buru. What? C come on, man. That's, that's rough. Alright, I'm just, uh, mousing over to see what dropped. Whole bunch of silver. Okay, that's all of them. Speaking of all of them, that's all the, uh, the Ice Fiends too, I believe. Alright, that should be a lot of good, uh, magic. Kakata, how are you doing? 15 hours, yes. You know, if I was kind, I could actually cure a lot of your scars and whatnot, but I don't know how kind I am. Cheese is kind. He's patching you guys up. Thank you, Raven. That was a lot of work. For a thousand insect jelly. Alright, so I am four minutes past the time I said I would assign Yeti. So I'm going to just remind you, you got about a minute. Uh, so if you're a subscriber of mine, all you got to do is type something in the general chat, and you're eligible for Yeti, unless, of course, you are already in this series. There's no doubles, but I think that could have been assumed. And then we'll get him doled out to you guys. I'm excited. Hope you are too. Getting a full crew back. Alright, increased skill for... Whoa! That is a lot of XP. 40k XP for Mando. Yeah, you are the Iron Fist for sure. Crimson, think of all that delicious meat I just acquired in the prison. Delicious. Uh, I will put some bug corpses there, though. All right, a little bit, a little bit more. Hmm. Uh, what would I ever do without coffee? I'd be sad. That's what I would do. Wow. So Kakata almost died because he almost lost both kidneys. And I missed a hive. Hey, Amanda, you want to punch that? Uh, let's. What's the fun one? Tiger strike? Yeah, let's tiger strike it. Oh, apparently I can't. Alright, Mando punching the... Yeah, okay. He leveled up. What do we want? Alright, I'm going to make his Thunder Strikes cheaper. Uh, so, I don't... Where did these... Where did these staffs come from? I don't think we're supposed to have them. I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. Maybe she'll blow this up. Boom. And fill that in. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Chump. Leveled up as well. Let's give you teleporting power. Vendi. Yeah, at this point, now when we level up, most of our guys are getting just huge mana pools, which makes them stronger and stronger and stronger, which means that I won't have to have someone like, um, like Shield stick around the base all the time. It allows me to adventure, it allows me to do some stuff, some flex, some, uh, some stuff. Alright, so Jordan is mining that out. Cool. Uh, this should be a makeshift 
Raffle Yeti? Yes. Let's raffle Yeti. So, Mr. Yeti, here's the giveaway. There's 43 of you that are eligible. Good luck! Arclight! Congratulations. Yeti is yours. I'm just going to shorten the name to Arclight. I hope you don't mind. Or CR... I'll fix that. Arclight. Uh, so that means you are a teetotaling brawler, and we need to uh, we need to work on you. We need to, to make you stronger. So you got pretty good armor, I think, already. Uh, whatever happened to Droidens? He never finished it. Okay. Because I have a mining. That's okay. So my slate blocks are a little low, but my limestone's looking great. Uh, so speaking of limestone, here's what I was planning. I want to move the prison over here, because it's nice and flat and totally fine. Uh, Crimson, thanks for all the gifted subs. So bug corpses is important here. What is it? Critical here? Let's put this preferred. We want to have some bug corpses in here for animals to eat. As emergency supplies. Oh, uh, you know what? There's some... Well, it won't really matter. So... We'll have a bit of a, um... A bit of a prison here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the walls of the prison to create a choke point. So I think this will be... I haven't really thought this out well, but this will be the, uh... The prison... Mando has a inspired recruit from Fayette. But unfortunately, uh, we don't really need that, do we? So, prison door. Uh, we are going to do a plasteel door. And it will be airlocked so that uh, I don't have to constantly be bothered. I know that's a, a very expensive... No, we actually don't have that much plasteel. I take it back. Uh, we'll just do regular old steel doors. Um, that airlock sucks. Let me revisit that. There. Alright, so this will be the prison. Hopefully it won't fill up. Continue base transition to south. Yes, that is indeed something I want to do. Roleplay, that wall is visible from the outside. Uh, yeah, it is for now. Uh, it won't be for soon. In fact, let me fix that. There is a lot of through traffic right now. I kind of don't want to drop a meteor with all these... It's like an ant colony. Alright. Ain't nobody going to see that from the outside. This is a twisty little cavern now. The idea is to actually fill these with sentinels. So if I'm ever not home, um, I could just uh, rely on the sentinels to do a lot of the heavy lifting. We're going to call this prison flowers because I'm planting some daylilies in there. We'll put a torch in the middle. I'm a lovely architect, don't you know? Okay, so we need a lot of cut... Uh, wow, okay, we know we have a lot of slate blocks. I just need to start using them. So one of the ideas I had was maybe... Where is Droiden? You are on cooldown. Maybe I can call down a meteor here because there's a gap of the overhead mountain. Maybe I can't, I don't know. But let's go ahead and remove all these floorboards because that's not staying. And destroy... All that. What's the special materials in the meteor? Um, silver and steel and... Uh, yeah, silver and steel. Doing some last rites here for bugs. I'm kidding, of course. Uh, mana pots from Dark Raven. Jordan, you have so much mining to do. I almost feel bad. Oh, what is this? 
We have a lot of steel. What I need to do is just, like, teleport steel away. But at least our, our guys are pretty fast in their uh, productivity. Uh, shouldn't this be Slobo's bed? No, no, the Nerlin. Where is Nerlin? This should be Slobo's bed. Slobo is your... Is your... Uh... Yep. Alright, in terms of health, we haven't regrown that toe yet. So... Shield. It's your right foot. Right foot, right foot. There it is. Rust. Your mana pool looks fine. Let's fill it up a little bit more. Just standing next to the capacitor and operate. Make statues out of the steel. Yes, I actually have been. I've been making tons of statues out of the steel. Uh, it's just... There's so much work to be done. Caravan request. Corn for sniper. Well, I'm not supposed to have sniper. So, can't be doing that that quest there. <laughs> sniper is forbidden. Alright, let's do a quick health check of everybody else. Uh, so, Aiden's also missing a toe. It was bitten off. Alright, I think that's it for humans. Not necessarily it for animals. Because I believe one of these guys was missing a uh, leg. Yes, missing a paw. Plorius. All right. All right. This is going to be part of the home zone. Actually, this whole tunnel. Let's clean up all the dirt and dust. By the time he sees the pole is up, one of the attacks will be done. Uh, can we go on a quest today, Crimson Rust says. Well, let's see. Uh, episode pole. I'll get this up right now. So. Move prison, new library, or move wood farm inside of base. Uh, and then I'll also try to quest. Brave skins, swapping it over to rain. Bracer of the pacifists are done. Where'd they go? Because only Aiden should be using those. Oh, here they are. What? Come on now. I thought... Or no, Addy, right. Aiden, Addy, you'll understand my mistake. So these bracers here um, give you crazy mana regen, uh, but you have to be a pacifist in order to equip them. They're very powerful. Uh, Addy is reclaiming it. So now Addy's mana pool is huge, and if you check, uh, the mana regen is enormous. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Alright, uh, Rust, we have... Aiden, you're missing a toe? Yes. Left foot. And Rust... gonna make sure that this isn't a mana pool problem it's funny that Denishi's uh, you know filling it and then rust is pulling from it we also need to make arc light uh, some gems and then on top of that Droiden let's see if I can't call down a meteor here I gotta do it carefully. So I don't want to stand in it. Flop. Okay, so that won't work. <clears throat> that method doesn't work at all. So we will fill this in the long and hard way. That's alright. Mistakes were made. Lessons were learned. Build a roof over this bad boy. And we have a ton of spare beds, so I'm going to move the spare beds first. I don't know if this is actually big enough, this, um, this barracks. Let me just preempt an expansion, because I know how many uh, raiders normally come and attack me. And, uh, yeah, this thing is just... 
way too small. I can tell that already. Filled in with steel. Um, I could. Steel's flammable, though. So the issue is if I filled it in with steel, it would be a burn. Um, well, you know what I could do? I could, I, yeah, I could do that. I'll fill it in with steel, but, but only the insides. So I'm going to line the outside with, um, with slate and then fill the inside with steel. And that should keep it from burning. Hopefully. Um, all right. So that's being built. Structure, steel walls. Cancel that one. This is going to make for a very weird archaeological dig in the future, right? Magic's returning to normal. Scathy's leveling up. Nice. So how's the poll going? Uh, new library overwhelmingly is a priority, it looks like. Yeah, I'm very surprised those prisoners did not perish in the last um, bug attack. Oh, who's vomiting? Oh, you used up too much of your power. Now what are we doing? Oh, you're mining up the silver. I don't know whatever. Oh, God, we have leviathans? Yeah! <laughs> That's great! Big thing is hunting Plor. Plor, you're already one-legged. Uh, who's close? Who's close? Rust. Get down there. Bando, get down there. Aiden. Um. Damn it. No, don't touch him. Ah. Plor, run. No, don't dirt, devil. I Stop. Stop. Get back here. Uh, Rust, go, go, go. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Plor, get in the teleporter. Who, where's, which one's Plor? Go in. Jump in. Right, Aiden, um... Get closer. Uh, Nerlin, I need you up. Shield, I need you up. We need to purge some of these, some of these animals. There we go. So Plor is not being attacked anymore. Um, the beak thing. We we got the beak thing's attention. Hey Mando, you want to dump a thunder strike? Oh, good! That was quick. That was very quick. Let's do a tiger strike. Yeah. That's right. Don't pick on the little guys. Oh, God, he's back up. Oh, because I uh, used poison. I knocked him out with poison. Uh, Amanda, what are you doing? Back up, boy. Alright. Regenning Plor. Mando, doesn't look like you're doing so hot either. Alright, Plor's on his feet because I hit him over the regen. Ouch! And then I accidentally just blasted him! <laughs> oh, that's funny. Whoops. Uh, Rust, you can hunt. Alright, never mind. Shield, Nerlin, these guys handled it. Uh, you dropped a mana pot. And... Rain from Brave Skin, I read that already. Arc Light! Getting level up in art. Uh, Rust, heal Mando. I don't have anything to launch. It is an empty launch. Wow, 
I really did not, uh... Whee! Oh, beast attack! Fire elementals! Coming in from the north. Wow, Plora's already fully healed. Alright, so animals, I want you all on the farm. Um, you know... Let's get you guys out here. Denishi, chump. Where did they go? Oh, Aiden. Jesus. Run. Run. Alright, let's go help him. I didn't realize he was down there. And he's unconscious. At least it's raining for the, uh... For this. Portal collapses in two minutes. And I killed my priest. Of course I did. I blew up her heart. Yep. Well, guys, that's what you do to your priest. You, uh, you blow up their hearts. The problem is, I don't really have... She's the one that revives people. So I could hypothetically, uh, revive her, but I'd have to train another, uh, priest. Which is, you know, takes some time. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, you, equip your wand. No, she's not, she's not gone forever. I just need to put her in the freezer. And wear the cone of shame, because I did that to her. Raven doesn't look so hot either. Raven's down. Aiden, you're gonna back up now. Train another priest. And revive- yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing, obviously. You stupid little... Fire elementals. They just don't die. I mean, they're not really designed to be weak, but... It is... They're very strong. Uh, why is my blink- can I blink anywhere? No, my blink seems to be broken on Chump. It's not showing me my, uh, radius. Unless it's anywhere I physically can see, which seems to be the case. Animal migration of grizzly bears. Alright, uh, Rust, you're gonna have to go get some more mana. Enter shield. Alright, Aiden went down and back up again. Raven, how are you doing? You're just bruised. Why won't you guys die? Just... There we go. Well, T-Sang's tanking the heck out of him. I don't care about the portal. Stop telling me it's gonna collapse. Up. I didn't realize you were still fighting one. Alright, Rust, go get your mana up. Nerling, come on out. We have some hunting to do. Uh, unfortunately, Shield's on fire and is pacing as a result. Alright, he's off fire. t things just tanking them like a, a pally would. And then you've got Den over here too. They just, they're bruising us, but they're not, it's not much more than that. Raven's actually back on your feet, huh? Alright. If you insist. Alright, uh, consume the mana pod. Raven was awake for like a second. Now they're both down again. <laughs> T saying you need to recast your shield. Uh, 
Even shields down. Man, these things tank like crazy. All right, I guess I need to start actually sending people in. Not you. Aiden still has a, uh, a regeneration on, so he just keeps getting back up and getting back down. But I can appreciate how long t has been taking him up here, but he's running out of mana. Oh, he can heal himself, though. Where is the backup? You guys are slow. Very, very slow. Well, Den's back up. Uh, I don't dare fireball. Oh, and the rat right next to me just went mad. Not anymore. Alright, Aiden's dropping heals on himself. That's a start. B, you're coming down. Alright, T-Sync's finally down. Scathy, you're showing up just in the nick of late. Uh, let's try a snowball. Alright, Den. Blink away. There's just so many. Yeah, I know they want revenge. They were hostile the whole time. And of course, Snowball drops a wandering lich. Hmm. Well, this is a bad situation. Uh, well, let's try Mando and Cheese go north with Droiden. While everybody down here finishes what they can finish. Never a dull moment, that's for sure. So, friendlies are coming in from fight. Bunch of Avanacos. I worry about their effectiveness. But it's possible. All right, Rust, you have a ton of mana, so let's get you to come help heal. And more friendlies, more tribes, people. They'll help. They're just not super strong. All right, Aiden, you need to... You're out of mana. Uh, that's a bummer. Just play dead. All right, that's two down. Dan, blink. Nope, that's not what blink is. This is, oh, and you're unconscious. All right, so you are going to um, meat tank for me. Aiden, you don't have a mana for blink, do you? No. Currently do not. Let's watch up here. Sorry, allies. It's really not personal. Oh, you know what? That's going to miss. Because the Lich is here. Damn it. Lich, stop pacing. Manhunter pack of gorillos. And the Fire Elementals are getting pissed. Uh, no immediate danger, no immediate danger. All right, Rust. Now, Manhunter packs aren't going to go after those that are unconscious. So that is nice, I guess.
Thank you for watching episode 13 of Origins of Magic that was originally streamed on March 15th. Sorry for the crazy cliffhanger there. If you have any tips, tricks, feedback for me, do drop me a line in the comments below or on Discord if you like. If you haven't joined Discord yet, go to rodamont.com for the link. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll catch you all next time. Adios.